Alright, this video is just to show some comparisons in speed and time differences with a uh, Curve 8900 and a Bald 9000. The Bald 9000 has a 624 MHz processor versus the Curve with a 512 MHz processor. Uh, the Curve does have 256 uh, megabytes of memory versus the bold with only 128 but that's that's application memory so it's not always a uh, a big influence on on speed but uh, let's take the batteries off of these things and let's do a fresh boot to see how how fast one is over the other all right so both batteries are out you can see the differences in size curves is quite thicker on the right in the back I've got a clock there so you can see the actual time alright and three two one not much is happening so far just the uh, red light is actually still on on the bold. This barely got off, but uh, the curve is the first to display a white screen. Now the bold is in second place, but I believe that will change. Looks like the bold is just about there. A few seconds or so. Or so. And it looks like the bold has gotten a carrier logo and is on to verifying security software. And I would say the bold is just about done right now. Let's check out the curve. Curve just barely finished with a logo and the security software. It's passed. And that is all for now. In this part, uh, we're just going to see which Blackberry can get a uh, GPS fix quicker. Bear with me while I get to GPS on both phones. Alright, here's GPS over here, GPS over on the curve. Alright, now these already obtained a fix earlier today. Uh, I was testing them out, but I should be able to get a GPS fix on these again and see how how long it'll take all right three two one last time the bold had a fix much quicker than the curve and there we are I've actually got seven satellites right above me apparently and the curve is still looking for some kind of satellite. Still looking for some kind of coverage. I am outside, uh, clear skies. It's about 7:30 ish. Actually, 719 to be exact, according to Blackberry Bold. Still looking for a fix on the curve. Nothing so far. Seven is probably the most satellites I've ever been able to, uh, you know, get at one time. Still nothing on this curve.
and finally we got a fix on the Curve 8900. Um, let's see, let's compare them a little bit here. Took a whole, um, I don't know, probably two or three minutes to get a fix on this 8900 compared to the ball that got one in, gosh, maybe a minute. Alright, so, this one only has, uh, four satellites it was able to, uh, to connect to. This one has seven. Now, that's a pretty big difference as far as accuracy goes. I mean, if you only have four, it's not going to be super accurate, as you can see down there at the, uh, accuracy rating. Over here, I got 9.87 meters, I'm assuming. So, um... Yep, there is a test on both phones to see which phone could manage to get a GPS fix.